What is going on guys? Welcome to today's vlog. It is October 24th and I just got out of school. I'm back here home at the farm. Um, it, it feels pretty good to be home. Honestly, school was long today. It was just uh, Tuesdays. I don't know. They're either good or they're bad or just they're boring and they're long. Pretty much how Tuesdays work for me. But today, I don't work today. So, I'm here at the farm and I didn't really know what to do. So I was just like, you know what? Let's vlog. Let's vlog a little bit. And I wanted to kind of share with you guys some of the new things that have been happening in life. You guys obviously heard about winning and stuff like that. Obviously, that's the one big thing. But also, there's another, another couple things that have been going on. Whatever. I just kind of wanted to share that with you guys. So, let's get into that. First things is, is when I started, like, school, I guess, I had ordered something that I had actually recorded me opening and everything. I don't know if I had the footage, so if I do, I'll put it in here. Um, after all, all this, what I, whatever I share with you guys, um, but I had ordered something that was pretty, pretty special to me. I, I really was begging my dad, like, please, just please get this for me, because at the time I didn't have a job, so I couldn't pay for it. Um, so I literally was in. It's kind of a bad place to order this, but I was at my cousin's funeral, and we were eating like dinner or whatever. Like it was not an actual funeral. But it was like her dinner, her funeral dinner, I guess. And something had dropped that day. It was on a Saturday, and it dropped that day. And literally, it was up for two minutes. And I, I ordered because I, like, I thought it was gonna sell out like that day or something, but it didn't. But I ordered it that day, and it took like two and a half weeks to get here. I waited so long. I actually I was in school for like a week and a half before I got it. But I finally got it, and I wanted to share it with you guys. A lot of you guys who actually go to school with me actually already probably know. But for you guys who do not go to school with me and do not know. I got something pretty cool. That's right, everybody. I think, oh, I had the BMW. That's what I'm going to talk about. I got the Maverick backpack. I got the Yeti Maverick backpack. And a lot of you guys probably like it's just a backpack. No, I mean, it, it, yeah, I mean, essentially it is. It is. But it's like a really special backpack to me. I don't know. It's like... Really the only piece of merch that I have through Maverick and Logan Paul and whatnot. Um, but it was ninety dollars. Like it was expensive. Like actually it, overall it's like a hundred bucks to be up. Like it was like a hundred dollars and ninety-two cents or something like that. I don't know, it's somewhere on there. But it was kind of expensive, it was really expensive, but like I just knew that like I needed to get that thing. It was calling my name. So I got it and I absolutely love this backpack. It has this pocket, this pocket, has a pocket here, and it has a big pocket here. Now, like legit, this thing holds so much stuff. It's great. Like, and like it's, I don't know. It, you guys can't feel like what the, the material of it, but it's honestly like a really good materialized backpack. Um, they say it's Yeezy, right? I mean, Logan says it's like Yeezy material, but I mean, it kind of is. It's close to Yeezy, I guess, a little bit, but it's not dead on. But it, it's really, really close. Like, it feels great. Um, it's a really comfortable backpack, though. I love hauling around. And people recognize me. like, dude, no way. I'm like, yeah, that's right, BMW. But, um, yeah, some really cool stuff. And uh, I do want to order some of his other merch. But, like, honestly, recently, I haven't really liked a whole lot of things that he's been dropping. Like, a couple of his T-shirts. I like the V-necks and the crew necks or whatever you want to call them. Just the regular ones. I do like those just with the Maverick symbol. Um over here but for the most part I really haven't been a whole big fan of like all of his other stuff like it's just kind of cheesy I guess I don't know but his hoodies that he dropped to do like there's the navy blue one I was gonna get it but it sold out so I was like oh I can't do that so yeah that's really the only piece of merch that I have is that backpack right there and I absolutely love this thing and you guys probably like what the heck are those reels well I'm working on the BMW we're getting that worked on but uh yeah I mean this thing is it's nice and then on the straps that one's normal. That one has the Maverick. That one's normal. So, yeah, that's really cool. And I actually have some, I have some plans where I want to get the Maverick symbol. Not necessarily, I don't want to do black and black and white. Um, I think I want to do in like the actual color way, like with the red and the orange and the green and the blue. Um, just like the original Maverick symbol on my back, tattooed on my, on my like back left shoulder blade. Um, about the size of my hand, not too big, but not too small. Probably about the size of my hand or so. Just tattooed on the back of there. I think it would be so cool just for me to do that. 
Um, just because like it, Maverick means so much to me. A lot of people think of it as like, oh, you, you're low gangster or whatever. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I am, but like, uh, you know, like what Maverick stands for, just kind of being the outsider, being different, you know what I mean? Being, being like, you don't really follow the rules too much, you know, but I mean, you're still, <laughs> you're still respectful in a way. But I don't know, you're just different. You're just different, and I really like that because that's kind of how I am. I'm a weird kid, and I just do my own type. You know, I just do my own thing, and you know what? People can judge me all I want. I just block out the haters, whatever. But I don't know. Maverick is really special to me, and uh, it's just really cool. It's just a really cool movement. I feel like so. I'm definitely going to represent that because I absolutely love it, and he sells some really cool stuff. So yeah, that's the first thing, and the second thing. Well, you're about to see it. That's an Eastern BMX bike. Now I got this thing for $185 um, off a of Facebook marketplace or whatever you want to call it. Uh, contacted the dude down in Corinth, Kentucky. It's a $420 bike. Okay, that was what it was when it was brand new. It was $420. I got it for $185. I mean, I low bought him and he's just like, you know what? Fine, that's fine. I need to get rid of it. I can't really ride it. It's sitting in the garage. Might as well just get rid of it. $185 is yours. So, went and picked that up. I absolutely love it. Now, the reasoning behind this. Now, here's the thing. I do like bikes. Don't get me wrong. Like, I've always liked riding bikes. A lot of people do. But the, the number one reason why I actually got the BMX bike was specifically because I was trying to do something to bond with my little brother. Well, he likes BMX, I guess. Like, he likes riding bicycles, whatever. I'm not gonna say bicycles. He likes, he likes riding bikes. He likes going, um, like, to the dunes, which a lot of you guys, if you guys have my Instagram or my Snapchat, you guys know about that. But, like, yeah, that was just something that I could bond with my little brother with. So that's why I decided to get the BMX bike. And also, like, I've been getting a lot better at it, whatever. Um, but it's just something I can bond with my little brother with. and. And just half of my little bro so that's that's really the reason why i got it and also you know i, I have a lot of fun doing it it's in, you know i enjoy it honestly when you go out there for three four five hours at a time it's honestly actually it's like it's a workout it's a little workout on your legs you get tired you get sore and it's a lot of fun so that's why i've been kind of riding bmx here for the past few months and i absolutely love it so yeah that's that's the other thing that's kind of new this is a big thing and hopefully I'll be able to do this for a lifetime. And really then cool. the third and final thing that I really want to talk to you guys about, well, is this BMW. This is the 2002 BMW 325XI. This thing, there's a tarp inside, but I'll just show you guys inside really fast. I don't know if I actually put this on a vlog ever. I never recorded this myself, like, a while ago, but I don't know if I ever actually put it on. But let me let me show you the interior of this thing. It's nothing too special, but I just wanted to show you the car. So let's check this out. some specs about this car like i said it's 2002 325 xi which means it's all-wheel drive so those wheels spin and when those wheels are on there they will spin too so all four wheels spin at the same time which is going to be a little bit better in the weather you know rain um snow all all this nasty weather so all-wheel drive is really nice i really do like that um but yeah i i have some plans for this car now right now uh, the axles are broken and something, I forget what it's called, I wish I knew what it was off the top of my head, but it has to do something with the all drive system where it broke. So I'm going to have to put a little bit of money into it before it actually, it runs, it runs, and I'll, actually, I'll probably start it up here in a bit. Uh, it runs, but it, it, it doesn't drive, <laughs> like it's on, it's on cinder blocks and 
a uh, jack right there. So it, you know, it's it's up there. But yeah, I mean, I'm 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 trying to save up money just to, to work on it, get done, and have it driving. And I'll start driving in January. So this is kind of my project car um, up until pretty much after college. I'm pretty much just gonna have this car. I'm gonna try and have it. if it doesn't break on me, right? Um, pretty much until after college, and after college I get an actual car and stuff like that. Well, I shouldn't say uh, this is an actual car. But I'm gonna get my own car. But I do really like this car. Um, but more or less the specs on it. It has a V6 in it, like I said, all-wheel drive. 2002 leather interior. Has has that sunroof. I don't, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it has a sunroof, whatever. Um, it has all the the fun stuff where you guys can like where you can save your settings to your seat, where you can adjust it. You can save it, and then you just click it, and then it goes automatically on your seat. It is a manual. I shouldn't have drive manual or whatnot. Um, it doesn't really have any like GPS screen or anything like that, but the radio is pretty good on it. And now this is something I don't know about. This is it says SPC performance, but I actually don't know a whole lot about that. I'm just gonna say it's a sticker because I mean the exhaust. It sounds really nice. Like don't get me wrong, the the car sounds really nice when it you know when it starts and whatnot but I mean as of right now it's just kind of I feel like it's stock like there's nothing too special about it but let me show you around what I have some you know what, what plans I have for this car because um, I'm probably not gonna upgrade it internally as far as the engine and stuff like that but exterior stuff like that I will be changing up so let me let me show you a couple of things kind of change I'm gonna do to it probably not first at first but one of the things I'm gonna do up front I like the grill okay now the bumper. Now I don't know if I'm gonna get like a, a different body kit for the bumper or whatnot, and all around the car on the sides and stuff like that. But as far as the bumper, I think I'm just gonna keep it as is. If I find a really cool pump bumper that I think will look cool, I might get it. But I do want to get some LED lights. There's Exxon or neon, whatever you want to call them. There's neon lights that are really nice that are bright. The blue ones that look blue, so it'll have like a you know, have like a blue ring around it. I think it'll look really cool. So that's pretty much gonna be like the first change I'm gonna do to the car. Um, but yeah, that's, another that's big thing one. is is those rims. Oh my gosh, those are ugly. Those are no 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 no. Those are ugly. I'm getting rid of those. I'm gonna get some black ones most likely. Um, and just find something cool. I know it's just something cool looking. Now the wheels, I mean, yeah, they don't really have a whole lot of tread. So probably gonna get some new uh, tires and stuff like that. But I mean, as far as the wheel and the rim and stuff like that, I'm probably gonna get a new brand because those are ugly. No bueno, <laughs> right? Um, and as far as the front too, I'm probably just gonna go with like a black, just something cool looking. I don't, know. I don't really know a ton, but. Now the black, back of this sure. car, it's plain. It's plain. There's no spoiler, there's no wing, there's nothing. It's legit just plain. And the back of it is honestly, it's not too bad looking, but it could be much, much better. Um, so, I'm going to get a spoiler or a wing, right? Not that big, but whatever. You get my point. I'm probably going to get a spoiler or a wing of some sort in the back of this just to make it not as, like, ugly and boring. You know what I mean? So, that's one thing, a wing or a spoiler. Which the exhaust. Cool. Let me just... Let me just clean this out a little bit. It's kind of nasty, right? I've been sitting here for a few months now, so. Yeah. Now the exhaust, it's a dual exhaust. It sounds really nice as is, but I think I want to get a better sounding exhaust. Now that, that's going to be a little more of the pricier side of everything. I don't know probably upwards of six, seven hundred dollars. Everything else is going to go from probably three hundred to five hundred dollars, depending on what it is. Like the spoiler or the wing, it'll, I'm okay with spending like three hundred fifty dollars on that whatnot but front bumper if I get that I don't know now another thing is is I might get another like a back bumper to make it also cool but I'm not really sure and I don't know if I'm gonna get like ground effects or side skirts or whatever I guess it is ground effects I don't know if I'm gonna get some different skirts because they're you know stock whatever but yeah that's that's something that I'm gonna be looking into is is of course the wing the exhaust maybe some front and back bumper the lights and the rims um, and another thing is, is that I'm not 100% sure, because this will be probably the most, I, I just said the exhaust will, but I, I do want to do the exhaust probably. <sighs> Heck, it's falling apart. Um, I'm really trying to figure this out, because right now, I mean, it's legit filthy, I'm sorry if you guys can't really tell, 
but this car is filthy like there's dirt everywhere it's disgusting but it is like a silver color gray i usually say silver more or less it's a silver car and i like the silver on it it doesn't look too too bad but honestly i am debating on wrapping this car now i've only presented this to my mom and dad like briefly not really going in depth with it or nothing like that just because i at least just want it up and driving to where i can use it but something that I might consider after pretty much everything is set and done, um, I think I might wrap it and I don't know what color. Honestly, there's a couple of colors I have in mind, like a blue or like a purple that like is mixed with the blue. So it's depending on what, you know, the, the way that the sun is hitting it, if it's a, you know, it's a purple or blue, I might do that or I might do like a green. Like, I don't know what color I'm going to do, but I think I'm going to be really cool. I think it's, I'm going to do something really cool with it if I do wrap it. Now that if i do that that won't increase the car value at all pretty much it really won't but for me it, it it'll make it look cooler so you know i plan on like i said i plan on driving this car until i'm like 23 years old or so like 22 23 years old um to where i have a steady job after college like i graduate college have a steady job and ready to get a new car and i'll just kind of get rid of this thing or pass it down to somebody but yeah if I get that wing and stuff like that, um, if I get the wing and the spoiler, I'm really thinking about getting a carbon fiber one because I think carbon fiber just looks so cool. Uh, you guys can't see, but my phone case is carbon fiber. But I really like the look of carbon fiber. So I might get like a black carbon fiber hood. Or not hood, sorry. That's another thing. <laughs> but a black carbon fiber wing or spoiler. Now as far as the hood goes, the hood, I mean, it's kind of plain looking, whatever. I don't know. I was kind of debating on getting a carbon fiber hood. They're kind of expensive. They're like five or $600. And I don't know that it'll look that cool with the whole wrap thing. Because honestly, I could I could go with a carbon fiber wrap if I wanted to. But I don't think this car is that cool to do a carbon fiber wrap. It doesn't deserve it. <laughs> but um, I don't know. Carbon fiber hood, it's a possibility. Um, a little bit of weight reduction, but not too, too much. But I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it goes. You know, if, if, I, if, if I end up wrapping it, I probably won't get a carbon fiber hood. I'll probably just stick with it. But um, yeah rear and front bumper possibility with something like a little bit wider like a wide kit or something i don't know exactly what i'm going to do but i'm trying to make it pretty cool um but yeah this is going to be my this is going to be my project car for the next few years of my life so i'm excited just to get it done at least so i can drive it and like i said guys i start driving in january which means i can take the vlog with me pretty much wherever i mean when I, do, when I start to do, you know, when I start to drive like that, I might be able to go to Cincinnati more, go to Florida, just to be able to go hang out with friends more, do more things, you guys and my friends as well. And, you know, the BMX bike, but, you know what I mean? There's a couple of skate parks and stuff like that around here that I can take it to. But I'm extremely excited to get this car fixed. I absolutely love this car. I just need to get it fixed, and I just I just need to get it done, get it done. So, yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a long segment, but hopefully you guys like that car. Comment below. Uh, what do you guys really think of this car? Like I said, it's a 2002 BMW 325xi. I mean, it's nothing too special, but it is a car. Just had to get a couple things onto it, and it's pretty much ready to go. But yeah, just tell me what you guys think of it. And uh, yeah, and honestly, and if you guys have any other ideas of what to do with it, tell me, tell me what to do. Like I said, I don't know if I want to do anything internally with the engine just because I don't need anything extremely fast. This is fast enough. It has a V6, it's a manual. I have pretty much complete tr control over the car. So I'm pretty comfortable with internal stuff, just the external look of the car. I might change it up a little bit. But tell me what you guys have for any ideas for what I should do to this car because I don't know. Having a little bit of help or whatever with you, with you guys, you know, that, that'll honestly, it'll help. So what's going on guys? Uh, right now it's like nine o'clock. Um, today I really didn't do much. I really didn't. I was showing you guys those cars and the bike and the Maverick backpack and stuff like that a little bit earlier. Um, but I really just came inside, took a nap and just because I'm well, today, today was off. Today was, it was different. Something was going on. Um, so I decided to take a nap, rest on it see if it help out a little bit and did a little bit but um yeah so i didn't start the car i know i didn't show that um i'll have to show that probably tomorrow if I'm like that the battery was dead so i had to charge it so yeah i'm gonna start the car tomorrow just let you guys hear it it's, you know, well actually no i won't <laughs> i'll be working tomorrow at 4 30 but you guys will hear the car eventually i'll i'll start it up on the day that i'm off or something like that or not day I'm off, but I don't know. I don't know what day I'm gonna start it up, but I will start it up for you guys eventually. I worked a ton this week. 
are more than usual. So that's okay though. But yeah, that's pretty much what's happened today. I just wanted to share with you guys some of the new things that are, that's going on and all that stuff in my plans for the BMW. But yeah, like I said, comment down below what you guys really think I should do to the car. I want to hear you guys' suggestions so that I know what other people like, not just myself. I know I have really good taste. And earlier, I was watching my videos and stuff like that. When I was talking about the wheels and the tires and the rims, I was mixing up the, the tires, the wheels. And I know you guys probably, some of you guys who know cars, whatever, you guys are like, oh my gosh, it's really killing me. I know I just wasn't thinking. I was talking really fast and whatnot. But um, yeah, I do know the difference that between the tire and the wheel so I mean the wheel is kind of the rim but more or less yeah that I understand that that kind of when I walked watched that back I was like oh I messed up so I wanted to correct myself there so yeah I'm gonna put new rims on it okay and then I want to get new tires for it I'm gonna need to especially for the snow weather so that's pretty much all though but comment down below what you guys think I should do to the car Tell me guys what you guys want to see in these vlogs. You know, I'm starting this thing back up. It's getting in the fall. Like, right now, it's cold. I have this jacket and my jacket that I had on from earlier, my gray one. Like, it's cold out. So, I don't know. I just, I want to try and figure out some things you guys might want to see. Um, to all my friends who watch, guys, um, I'm going to try and get off work one of these weekends. Or, like, uh, you know, Friday night or Saturday night. Something like that. And I'm going to have a bonfire here at the house. And we'll vlog that. We'll have a fun here. You know, have some friends in the vlog and stuff like that. But, yeah, for any of you guys who watch, if you guys watch this, you know who I am, whatever, you whatever, go to my school or not, you guys are invited. I'm going to I'm gonna plan out a date. I'm going to send a group message to people. And I'm going to get a bonfire started here because I think that would be pretty cool. Having some bonfire fun around here because I also love it. And the fall is my favorite season. So, I think it would be pretty cool to do all that. But, you guys, that's pretty much it for today's vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, you know, I had a couple people come up to me today. It was kind of cool. They're like, or not a couple, but it was a lot. They were like, dude, I watched your vlog today. Or whatever. I watched your vlog, and I was, it's good to see you back. Whatever. And it was just cool, because I didn't, I, like, I guess I just don't realize that, like, people in my school actually watch my stuff. And I think that's really cool that, um, I'm able to do that. So, you yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I hopefully, hopefully I'll see you guys soon. But until next time, my friends, peace out.